I'm back and today we are going to talk about more spring trends, specifically four things. Black and white, pastels, chambray, and floral. So let's jump right in. So I just got back from Mexico and although you can't really tell because I am still very fair, it's because I don't really sit out, but you still need swimwear and I found this gorgeous, gorgeous bikini at Dynamite at Place Orleans. Now this is the first year that Dynamite has carried swimwear and this came in this beautiful mint color which I had to pick up because the other color is black. It's really, really nice but like we all have enough black, you know, like let's step outside our comfort zone a little bit, push our limits and try something new. So that's exactly what I did with this. It's got this great gold detail on the triangle and it's just like that. It ties in the back and at the top like a halter, really beautiful and the bottoms are just equally as beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at, I love the detail on the side of the bikini bottoms and then there's on the ties there's these little gold like square cube things oh it's so so cute keeping with the mint theme i went to ardent and i saw these mint mirrored sunglasses like are you kidding me and i found these after i'd picked up the bikini and i was like i need these puppies wore them in Mexico and like they're awesome you can't see your eyes they're totally mirrored and they're this great mint color which is bang on style so pastel it up right now while you can and then lastly for the pastel theme I was heading to Mexico and I realized I forgot to pack my hat I always wear a hat it's I always want to protect my face and like I said I'm very fair so I don't get much color very easily forgot the hat what am I gonna do ran to Ardan at Place Orleans picked up this great two-tone fedora it's got like the lighter color at the top the darker color brim and then this pretty pastel pink ribbon that kind of goes all the way around and it served me very well while on vacation <laughs> next up florals we have talked about florals a ton. I've showed you, I think in the past two videos, things that I've picked up that have been floral printed. It's kind of like the 90s are coming back around again, you know, when there were those like dresses that had the really, really tiny flowers kind of all over them. They're everywhere in stores. Floral print is everywhere from big prints to smaller prints and everything in between and even floral printed denim. Now, I wasn't sure how I felt about these to begin with, these are from Aeropostel. They're like a skinny leg denim. Even when I picked them up, I knew I wanted to talk to you guys about floral denim, but I was really like, I don't know if this trend is for me or if this is kind of something that I want to wear. But I was like, I want to share with them, you know, something fun and something that's really on trend. So I picked these up. They're a five pocket regular denim pant and like I said from Aeropostale they've kind of just been sitting in the bag I went away to Mexico like I said I've come back they've just been sitting waiting for me to film and then eventually wear them and honestly I've been shopping a few times since and floral denim is everywhere and I'm so so happy I picked these up like even when I was buying them I was like I don't know about this like am I gonna wear these that much and like every time I show you guys stuff, like I truly, truly love the stuff that I'm buying. And even if it is like on trend, I'm still buying it because I love it and it's something that looks good. Um, these I wasn't sure about, but now I can honestly say I really love them. And while shopping, these are just everywhere. You can find floral printed denim like everyone is carrying it. I saw like three or four different pairs at the bay alone. Um, I know Urban Planet has some like floral printed shorts, pants, like they're everywhere at Plaster Orleans. So I'm really excited. And I think this will be really nice with um, like a denim jacket or a white blazer to kind of dress it up. And I think it's really nice maybe not to pick out the obvious color, which is I'd say like the pink and this turquoise blue is obvious, but maybe pair it with lime green. Like I'm wearing a lime top today and that would be nice with it and if that's a little bit too daring for you then just pair it with you know a white t-shirt or a floaty blouse or something like that and kind of ease yourself into the trend 
So for the black and white mod trend, it's just kind of everywhere, you know, just black and white, bam, it's in your face, something really, really strong, but also really easy to do, you know, you don't need to put a lot of thought into it. You could buy a dress that's black and white, put it on, necklace, heels, and you're out the door. You don't have to think about color, which is really, really nice. I picked up a few separates that I'm going to share with you that are in black and white. First up is this top from Blue Notes. It's a little peplum t-shirt and it's got this um, lace detail in the back which I'm actually not that crazy about but I'll probably wear this under a jacket anyways and this lace will probably grow on me just kind of like the floral pants did but the best part is is this t-shirt just fits really really nicely and you know peplum is still going really strong we've been seeing it since about last summer and it's still just chugging along so if you haven't jumped on board the peplum trend now is the time and you know why not do it in black and white which is like really a statement making piece then from dynamite i picked up this really pretty black and white striped sweater it's a three quarter length sleeve and the sleeve is kind of um folded at the end but it's sewn and then it's just kind of an oversized high low hemline sweater and then it's got this really cute zipper detail in the back with this little red pulley now I could just see myself in the summer wearing this you know with a pair of jean shorts or perhaps with some skinny jeans if it's a little cooler but I love 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 the look of sweaters with skirts or shorts it just looks you know it's kind of that juxtapose between showing the leg but then covering up on top and it just looks really really nice plus you're making a statement again with the black and white and then lastly from Le Chateau I picked up this beautiful pashmina it's black and white but it's got this great yellow kind of border going around the outside it's geometric kind of print but I love 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 pashminas from Le Chateau I think they make the best ones they're thick they're big they just they look so great they on in so many different colors and designs and graphics and whatever. They had a really nice floral printed one as well and I decided to go with the mod black and white. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is modern style denim. Now, chambray is huge right now. If you don't know what chambray is, it's kind of that lightweight denim that they're making into shirts and everyone is wearing them and you know, I think you either love or hate them, and personally, I had a chambray shirt about three years ago when they first came out, and they're still going strong, and everyone's loving them. You compare them with pencil skirts to pants to shorts and everything in between, but I kind of feel like the trend isn't really for me. Now, I totally encourage everyone to step outside of what they think is for them. You know, it's always good to try something new. But I was really mm, not sure if I wanted to, to get another chambray shirt. Really not sure if I would get the use out of it. Um, however, I did find a style that I think is really going to work for me. And I actually picked it up in the men's section at American Eagle. Shocking, I know. So it's this button down. It's like a chambray style shirt just like that it's got a full length sleeve of course and I love that it has neon green thread and then as you can see it's also polka dotted which is really cute and I'll just show you this sleeve that I actually rolled up so it's super lightweight it's like a dress shirt some chambray shirts are heavier than others this one is definitely lightweight but it's that perfect blue chambray color and again, I love that it has these little polka dots on it because even though it's a men's shirt, I feel like I can totally feminize this. So I picked this up in a size small. I tried the extra small, but it was actually too tight. Um, and I do kind of want a bit of a looser fit. I also like the fact that it's long. So if I really wanted to, I could kind of take the bottom here and tie it in a knot because front knotted shirts are really huge right now. That knot just came undone. Can we do that again? Yeah, just like that. Really cute with the front knot. 
Now, okay, stay with me. So my vision for this shirt is, this is what I'm thinking, and again, I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone, and I encourage you to do the same, so this is what I'm thinking. Um, cream colored crochet shorts with this chambray style top, just untucked and kind of loose. Some sky high open toed heels to, you know, feminize the fact that this is a men's shirt. And then a really big chunky necklace underneath the collar. And of course, roll the sleeves up like this, just kind of to above the elbow. And you're good to go. So that's what I'm thinking. Um... If you don't have crochet shorts or lace shorts, they are everywhere this year. I was seeing them all over the place at Plasterlines, so you can always check those out or go on the hunt for a pair. If you don't have that, I could also see myself wearing it with white skinny jeans and the same idea, a big necklace or big earrings and a pair of heels or perhaps a white denim mini skirt or even white shorts. That would look cute. And you know what else would look cute? Maybe like a pair of pink shorts. I do have a pair of um, like neon pink cutoff shorts. I saw a whole bunch of those at uh, West 49 and Boathouse at Plasterlines. So that would be really cute too. And lastly for denim, I'm really, really stepping outside of my comfort zone with this. But I love the trend. Like I see it on other people and I'm like, I like that. It looks good. But I'm like, I don't know if this is for me. But I had to try it on. So it is a denim vest. Yes, a denim vest. I know we are totally throwing it back to the 90s here. But you guys, like this is just like in style right now. <laughs> and it looks so cute if you have like a maybe a floral dress underneath or just a snug um, kind of tank top style, longer tunic, and I, I love denim jackets, so I don't really know how I'm going to do without the sleeves, but then, you know, I was thinking in the summer it gets so hot, and you cannot wear a denim jacket because you don't need one, you know, it's too warm for one, but you can still get the look with the vest. So you don't necessarily have to wear a sleeve under it. I think it looks really nice when you just have like your bare arm coming out of it. These are all over the place. I picked this one up at Garage, but I was literally seeing them everywhere. They are just a hot commodity right now. You can get them in all different washes. Mine's about a medium wash. Um, there's dark ones. There's light ones. I even saw some mint pastel colored ones. Ones with studs and spikes. Ones that are plain. I'm telling you, if you are even considering jumping on board with the denim vest train, do it. Let's do it together. Do it with me, please. Don't let me do this all by myself. Um, I think I think this is going to be a really hot one for this summer. It looks so great with white, too. If you have, like, a white sundress and you just throw this over top, you know, layering is great. Add some interest to your outfit. Why not? Okay, so the last two items that I wanted to talk to you about that don't really fall into the four categories we were talking about today are sunglasses that I picked up at Arden as well. First are these neon yellow, crazy like Ray-Ban knockoff Wayfarers. Um, they're like totally mirrored, which is awesome. They're just like the mint ones that I showed you, and I love these. They're, they block the sun like nobody's business, but also they're just really cool and funky looking. And then lastly, I think this is going to be a huge, huge trend for this summer. It is colored mirrored lenses. Now, I'm not sure if the color is really showing up for these, but they're kind of like a greenish, a greenish wash mirrored look. I think you're just seeing, you know, my camera set up and my light, but... Um, really cool looking. Again, these are from our den. They also had them with a silver frame and like a blue wash. It's really cool. Normally you're just getting like a regular mirrored wash, but these actually have like a two-tone coloring to them, which I think is going to be super hot. So pick yourself up a pair of these if you can. And you know, you don't have to go for an expensive pair. It is a trend. So if you want to go for a cheapy pair like I did, um, you know, you can kind of find them everywhere at Plasterly. And lastly, I went to Canada Nails 
spa at Plasterlines, and I got them to hook me up boom with a mint colored manicure I'm sure you've been noticing this as I've been holding things up to you but I absolutely love this and it totally goes with our pastel theme mint super hot peach you know all those pretty pastel colors they're just super big for summer anyways that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye two-tone photor and that I haven't really touched upon yet Sh shoot <laughs> like why are you wearing your sunglasses inside I'm being awkward Maybe I could just film like this. Like I'm wearing my sunglasses at night. Or indoors. Ugh! Pull it together. Pull it together. Pull it together. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this.